All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. My name is Nicole Romeo, reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Jean Legg, a Republican Commission candidate for District 1. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for having me and I'm glad to be here and now I get to put my face and my views out to the public. Okay, in two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Well, my name's Gene Legg. I've lived in Queen Anne's County all my life, my family. It dates back to 1860s, and the real reason I want to be a county commissioner is because I love the people in this county, and I love this county, and I care about it. And I'm not a politician, and, and, and I'm not a good speaker. I'm somebody that cares, and I'm tired of seeing the taxpayers of this county suffer and the future employ employment people suffer because it's too many people in this county going in different directions and we need to get the problems here straight. And I want to be the voice, the ears, and, and the eyes of this county and being with the county and being out in the public all the years working for the county roads, I think I know what the people want and what they need and that's why I'm running for county commissioner. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Well, I think there are a couple of the biggest issues. One of the biggest issues, we need to bring the county together because, like I say, there's too many groups and going in separate directions and, and individuals going in separate directions, and they draw the line, line in the sand, and we need for everybody to come together and, and realize what the betterment of this county is. And as far as uh, business in this county, it's a big issue because we need to bring commercial business into this county that's going to help employ the people. And I'm talking about living wage jobs. The regular businesses, I don't believe in incentives because they come on their own. But anytime you can bring a business into this county that can, like a textile business, manufacturing and businesses, technology, businesses such as this, where you can get living wage jobs, that's important. We're spending 53% or more of our budget to educate these students that when they get older, I just don't want them to be one to 80 some percent of this uh, workforce going out of this county. We need to keep them in the county and we need the commercial tax base to help the taxpayers of this county. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? Well, the Four Seasons development, it's been going on for so long, and my position is this. Once the state makes their final say on the wetlands per permits, then I think it needs to come back to the county, and everybody gets to look at what the plan is and understand all the ramifications of it, because I don't want to see the county get sued again, but I also want to know what the complete deal is with the Four Seasons before I would ever approve it. And I think that's an important part because in this county, rumors fly and believe me, you never know until you see the actual plans and the final plans what you have. And until then, I won't have a decision on it. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is, what is your position on the sewer for Southern Kent Island? Well, work, living on Kent Island all my life and working down there 36 years, believe me, I know what the issue is and there is a problem in Southern Kent Island with the sewer. And with the sewer line, I think that's the, only, that's the only solution to the problem. But I'm not in compliance a whole lot with the consolidating the lots. I still have issues with that. But as long as there's an alternate system, as long as it has a drain field, there's going to be a problem. So the only solution I see as of right now is the sewer line going down there. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? I was against the YMCA project because I, I don't think tax dollars should be used to fund them. And my idea is I just wish maybe we'd looked a little harder in putting the pools into the two county high schools because I'm not sure whether the YMCA is going to be sustainable up here in Centerville. And, and I think uh, the major issue is bringing pools. That's the major issue, both for the elderly. And I can't understand why we aren't looking a little harder at the two high schools to put the pools in. 
I, I just don't like the idea, like I say, of putting county tax dollars into it, the YMCA. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly called the beach permit? Well, I don't, I don't agree with the beach permit because, I mean, you pay enough taxes in this county as it is, and, and I think there's other ways of going about it, but, you know, what people don't understand, like Commissioner Moran says, it was all bought with open space money, and if it's in the state of Maryland, you do have to charge for it. That was the answer that was given at the county commissioner's meeting. So I think if that's so, then maybe we can go back and maybe lower the cost of the permit, if, if that's what the law requires in the county. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. Well, I think I lived back in a time in Ken Island when there was un uncontrollable growth. Now we have a comprehensive plan. We have a zoning board and an appeals board, and I think we need to listen to what the, the comprehensive plan says. The only way I could see in changing something in the comprehensive plan now would be is if we could get a commercial business in here, like I said, that has living wage jobs. Other than that, I think the plan's in place where you have a comprehensive plan, you've had the citizens of this county write it up and they help with it, and I think we need to stay with that. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we've discussed already or add anything that we've missed talking about? Yeah, well, the one issue I'd like to bring up again is, is the sewer issue because this is something that's bothered me for a long time because I know you need sewer down Route 8, and the only sustainable way of doing it is running the line down there, sewer line down there. But at the same time, I hope this county is willing to help the people down there that live on a fixed income because I, I don't want to see no person down there lose their home. And I think that's an important issue that really hadn't been looked into a lot. I know they claim there's grants out there, but I think it should be the county willing to help out with it whenever they can. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. And you're welcome, and thank you, and I'm glad I was here, and that's my views. To watch other candidates who have appeared in the series, please go to either the QAC TV YouTube channel or visit myeasternshoremd.com. Thank you for watching.